So this here is a divide by four, which I designed some time ago. Uh, if you've been on the Discord, you've probably seen this in GIF form before. Um, it, it was also printed for me uh, by Joe the Legend on Discord. Um, he's in Pacific time, I'm on UK time, so uh, arranging for that to happen was such a... It was a feat, uh, getting us coordinated, and it was actually the catalyst for me then buying my own 3D printer. So uh, this model, in some way, is probably responsible for the fact that I actually have a 3D printer now. Anyway, uh, this operates using an escapement wheel. Uh, back in the heady days of when the escapement gate was first uh, sort of being explored, I was putting escapement gates on uh, <laughs> escapement wheels and everything, and this was one of them. Uh, I like this particular design because it's very fast and it releases all four marbles at the same time. Get a bit closer now and I'll show you how it works. So we now have a marble's eye view. Uh, this is the route that the marbles take in. Uh, you can see they will go all the way along that uh, that marble wheel there and down into the end. There's space for exactly four marbles um, before they hit this ridge at the back, which uh, so the backstop and each of these uh, little bird shaped things is its own trigger so this is like the, the pallet of the escapement wheel and the wheel and in this case the wheel and the the marble wheel are the same one and the same and it just does enough to to prevent the wheel from turning now there's four of them, which means that if we lift one, well the other three are holding it, this one drops down, it's now holding it as well. So essentially it means that we need the trigger of all four of these before this will turn. And that means that it always drops four marbles at the same time. Uh, the other important bits are this, this guard here. So that guard has to be positioned exactly correctly here so that the marbles can't drop through and that when it turns the marbles can slide round and then shoot off. This is a 10 degree slope. This is designed, I've designed this to try and fit in with the helix lift but we'll, uh, we'll try and attempt to get those to work together a little bit later. Let's pop some marbles in it. Okay, so first marble goes in and it pushes back the first trigger then the next marble comes in, pushes back the second trigger and the first trigger. And we keep going like so. You can see with three marbles in, it won't drop. But as soon as the fourth one goes in, and there's a little bit of pressure from the stack, off it goes. Let's put a whole stack in now and see how fast it can go. So we've primed the divide by four with three marbles, so it's ready to go. And in the tube are another about 45 marbles. And I'm going to attempt to tip this up, and obviously in the real one that will be a fixed tube, and the marbles will just come in as and when. But I want to see, first, how fast it can go, and second, what sort of pressure is required in the tube in order to actually make the thing operate. Because they do require just a little bit of force to open those triggers when there's three marbles all pushing down on the wheel and against that trigger at the same time. Let's go. Okay. So how many marbles are left? <laughs> I think it was about nine. But that's fine, there's plenty of space in the tube I think for nine marbles to provide the pressure to operate this. Let's just try them one more time. Take the same nine back of the tube. Let's see, was it me or was it the... is that the limit? Yeah, they won't go in any further. Okay, let's so find the limits. So I think just um, examining the aftermath there, I think they're certainly fast enough as a divide by four. I think the pressure issue 
uh, requiring pressure to operate. That might just be the shape of the triggers, but I also think that it, it does mean that a divide by eight of this nature will, will probably not work because uh, the force to, to required to trigger that will be twice as much, which means even more marble is required in the queue to, to provide the pressure to operate it. I think that might just be a bit too far. So I think if we want to use this as a divide by eight, we need a really fast divide by two. Maybe a flip-flop's fast enough. Maybe one of uh, Rosero's uh, splitting wheels uh, in order to divide by two before this and then have two of these. I like these because they are very compact. Um, I mean, you, you're looking at an object here which is barely wider than four marbles, maybe five marbles, and which actually does the right turn at, as well. So the marbles come in, in one direction, they come out uh, at 45 degrees, uh, sorry, at 90 degrees. So I think this has potential. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments below.